Hey, what's going on my fellow jewelers? So today we're making resin jewelry. Ooh, that's right. So I had a company reach out to me and said, hey, we have this product. We want you to try it out. I was like, of course I'll try it out. I'm in love with resin. I love resin so much. And so they sent me this. It's J Diction. I hope I said that right. J Diction. Um, epoxy resin. It says it's supposed to demold in four hours, but we will see. You never know. You know, J Diction did not send me this product. It was actually another company that sent me this product. And so I'm super excited to try it out. Do you want to see what we're making today? Oh my gosh. I'm, I bumped you. Sorry about that. I'm super obsessed with this resin earring. It is inspired by the ocean. Oh my goodness. Look at this. Oh, look at these. Oh my goodness. They're so cute. I just think they're gorgeous. They totally remind me of the bottom of the ocean with like the foam and the dark blueness of the ocean. Oh my gosh, I love these so much. I'm super excited to teach you how to make them. It's really easy once you get the hang of resin. It's really, really easy. I'm excited to show you the tips and tricks I have learned. But before we get started, make sure you subscribe my channel and click that bell to get notifications because I'm all about the how-tos of jewelry making, whether resin, whether beads, I got your back. So you and me, let's get started. All right, let's make um, these cute earrings. I'm so excited to make these earrings and I am excited to try out this um, J Diction four hour demolding. Um, they fully cure between eight to 10 hours and they demold after four hours. Let's try it. Oh my gosh, let's try this out. So all the material and the tool is listed in the description below. Go ahead and check those out. Um, let's get started with making this. So I'm excited to try out this stuff. So this is all the product you're gonna need. I'm gonna put it to the side while I, um, um, while I stir and mix, mix, mix my resin. And then we're gonna do, we have your our A and B. I have my sticks to stir. So usually when I didn't have my silicone cup, I um, had like disposable cups and I would measure exactly how much I would need of both of them because you need to do the exact one-to-one uh, -one ratio. However much you use of the A, you need to use of B. And so they need to be exactly the same or it just won't work. And I've done it where I actually didn't measure correctly and it didn't um, harden up, which is really bad. But because um, I have a silicone cup that has measurements, I don't use this anymore. You can, whatever you want. If you have your cups, use the cups. If you have um, a silicone measuring cup, go ahead and use that. And I'm gonna put in the same amount. So I'm gonna do 10 ounces of A and 10 ounces of B. So A is really thick. It's really thick and goopy. It sometimes um, doesn't level out very quickly. And so make sure you're patient when you're measuring out your A um, and that it goes to the measurement you want. It kind of has to like spread out. Um, I was really impatient when I first began this and I just kind of poured when I wanted, but A is really goopy and it takes a moment to um, just level out. B, it's really, oh my goodness, it is really thin. It levels out really quickly. And so I put 10 ounces of A and I'm gonna put uh, 10 ounces of B. This B seems goopy. This B seems goopy too. Maybe, maybe J Addiction doesn't have the same kind of resin I've been using. Um, okay, so I measured them out. And now I'm not going to bore you for the next three to five minutes, but now I am going to stir slowly. Do not go quickly with this. Stir slowly um, because if you do too fit quick, you'll make lots of bubbles and bubbles are your enemy. They are not good and you just um, want to make as little bubbles as possible. And so I am going to stir for the next three to five minutes. And so let's fast forward the tape now. Okay, so I have stirred it and there's more bubbles than I want. I don't like, I hate bubbles. And even though I do it slow, it still creates bubbles, but um, you can let it set for a moment. If there's too many bubbles, just put it to the side, let it set and do your thing. Um, I am going to now, um, I need three cups because I am going to have blue dye, which you're gonna need the most of. I'm gonna have foil with clear resin, and then I'm going to have a cup with um, white resin. So I'm gonna use a mica. And so I have these colors I'm gonna to use today. The blue, this is a really bright blue. I kind of wanted a little bit more sea green, so I got those two colors. And then I have a white. And so um, I'm gonna first do my foil. I'm gonna first do my foil. And I want to take, um, you don't need a lot of foil. Oh, and it just sticks to you. And I don't know where I put my um, 
tweezers. I usually have tweezers to do this. So I'm gonna put this to the side. And you need to make sure that your foil is not clumped together. Um, you need They need to be separate from one another. They come like kind of stacked on top of each other and they need to be so they're separate. And so I, um, I like to separate mine and then we're gonna put some resin in there. Um, I never, sometimes I overdo it, sometimes I underdo it. So I try to underdo it and then I can add more, right? And that seems like a lot of foil. It kind of is, but it's going to be like what looks like your sand. And so I'm just going to put in a little bit of resin. Um, I'm going to put in a little bit of resin. You want most of your resin to be blue. And so you don't want a lot of foil and you're going to kind of squish it up to where it almost becomes like a paste. You're kind of making a paste of foil and you want a little bit more, like I really, I need to use more resin. And so I've made um, like a paste, but I want it so there's a bit more resin. So you kind of have places where there's not foil a little bit. Yes, so I've made like a paste. Okay, and so I've started, I'm gonna put this to the side and now I just want a little bit. I'm gonna get my stirring stick. I'm gonna get my popsicle stick. I don't want a lot of white. I'm not using a lot of white. Um, I just want a little bit. You kind of almost want it a little bit. Oh, that's a lot. You kind of want it kind of like see-through translucent. Is that the word? I'm not good with my vocabulary. I tend to make words up. You can ask my husband. My husband's like, what were you saying? So you just want a little bit of resin yes put a little bit of resin and you just want a little bit of white because it's gonna be kind of like the border between the blue and the the, the gold it's gonna be like that border kind of like the foam on the sea and so now i have a lot more of the white and i'm going to take my blue and i'm going to put my stick in here you don't it makes, <laughs> I like making my colors rich. Um, and I, I'm a, I'm a person that likes to go extreme at first and then slow down. But the best thing to do is to not put so much color in. Oops, I bumped. Yeah, sorry. To not put so much color in and then add a little bit later. I don't want to mix my blue. So I'm just going to tap it in there. Okay. So I added my silky blue <laughs> and then I'm going to mix my blue. Oh my goodness. I think mica is just so pretty. Anytime, even when I do like acrylic paint and add it into my resin, I add a little bit of mica just to give it like glitterly look. I love the glitter look. Oh, this is so, <gasps> this is pretty. This is ocean. This screams to me, ocean, come to me. I am so excited. But when it comes out, oh, and what you do, um, I, I like it really thick. And so if it, if it falls down on my stick and I can kind of see my stick through it, that means my color's not bright enough for me. Some people like the, a little bit lighter. So I have my mold. I got my mold right here and I'm going to do my, um, my gold first. And what you're going to do is you're going to grab some of this, right? You're going to grab it and then you're going to kind of scrape it, um, to your cup and then put it better on your stick. Cause I feel sometimes it's not as, um, it's not where I want it on my stick and it's not easy for me to maneuver. And so I kind of just scrape it down. And if I see a chunk, if I see too much of a chunk of the foil, then I kind of break it up like that. And then I bring it, oh, I need to bring it like this. And this is like making the sand. It's so pretty. Oh, I love this earring. And my friends are like, oh my gosh, I just went to this tropical place. And this reminds me of that tropical place. I want to buy them. I'm like, yes, please. You may buy this earring. And so um, it reminds other people of the ocean. And so it depends on how much, it depends on how much um, sand you want. Do you want a lot of sand? So do you want a lot of the foil or do you want more ocean? So you're gonna have to decide. I like it when I have a mold and the earrings are right next to each other because I like mine to look exactly the same. It drives me nuts. It absolutely drives me nuts when um, my molds are on different, my earrings are on different molds and I have to kind of guess and there's so many times I get it wrong. I'm just like, oh my gosh, they don't look the same. They don't look like, ah. Oh. I, I have to have things the same. Um, earrings the same or it drives me nuts and I don't want to give it to anybody or sell it or whatever. So um, we are just putting the foil on. You want to make sure that the, 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 the foil is below your mold right here. It needs to be below their mold because it will kind of be pokey. And I have learned my lesson of putting too much foil 
on and so I try to bring it down um, so it's below the, the mold line. And then we're gonna do one at a time right now. So we, we did both of these with the foil. Now we're gonna do just one and I'm gonna take my white. I don't have a lot, which is good. I don't want a lot. And I'm gonna take my white and I'm gonna use my, my stirring stick. I'm gonna use and I'm gonna put it along here. Yes, I'm gonna put it along here. And I'm just going to, and if it's drippy, make sure you drip some of it. If you have really drippy uh, resin, this is not really drippy resin, this is kind of crazy. If you have really drippy resin, make sure you drip it in your cup and then you do it. Um, this, oh my goodness, look at this, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go along and kind of trace out along the white. I'm gonna make sure I put the blue resin along the white first before I put it down anywhere else. Um, so that it kind of the white stays in its place and then when you're making earrings There's this little like between the earring hole, right? Um, and there's a little piece of there's a little bit of resin you can put there uh, make sure that there's no air bubble right there because um, It will ruin the integrity of your earring. Oh, it drives me nuts I get air bubbles there all the time and I'm just like this needs to stop. It's awful. Okay so we did our first one. Oh my gosh, doesn't that look like the ocean? It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Now here's the problem with resin. It has a mind of its own. So the white may want to come up and um, <laughs> it's, it's starting to, do you see this? It's starting to move. And this is a problem with resin that drives me nuts is it has a mind of its own and it wants to do things that I don't want it to do all the time, but I can't help it. So the next and final step before we wait um, is we got to get some fire. You got to get some fire on this. And so I'm just putting fire to take away the bubbles. This takes away the bubbles and you're going to wait. You're going to wait for it to dry ready to take these out of the mold. Now, I will tell you that this says, the Jade Diction for this specific epoxy says, it's ready to demold in four hours and full cure in eight to 10 hours. But here's the deal. I tried it after a little bit less than uh, four hours and it wasn't even close to being dry. Like it was, it was coming, like I put my finger in it and stuff was coming. I was like, oh no, I just ruined it, which I didn't, thank goodness. Um, I did uh, come back after eight hours and um, they were a lot drier, but they weren't ready to even demold after that. Um, I got up this morning um, less than 24 hours after I did this and they were ready to come out. It was pretty exciting because my other resin that I use, it usually takes more than 24 hours for them to fully cure. And so even though um, it is not what they said it is on the box, it is a lot quicker than the other epoxy I've ever used. So anyway, I just want to put that in there and let you know, um, let's demold these babies. So resin has a mind of its own. I've said that. So look how the, the blue has come in and there's a little white. That's pretty cool. And same thing over here, but let's see how it looks on the other side. Oh, it looks like the ocean. I love, oh, they are so pretty. They are so pretty. Oh my goodness. That is fabulous. <laughs> For me, if I like the other side better, if I like the other side better, I will totally make this the front. I don't care what they say. I don't care what the rules are for for resin jewelry and resin products. I will use whatever side I like the best. But in this case, it happens to be the front. And so I like it. It looks like the ocean. It's super pretty. So the next tip for these beauties is putting on the hook, putting on, um, this is a fish hook. I've called it a shepherd's hook my whole life. <laughs> but in this case, we're putting on the fish hook. I'm only gonna do it on one and then you can do it on the rest that's up to you um it's once you do one then you know how to do it so i have two of my uh pliers right my long nose my round nose you just need two pliers you need two pliers that would work i just happen to use these all the time and have them on hand so i am going to let me move this aside i'm going to take my long nose pliers and hold this is the smallest jump ring because i want i'm using two jump rings because I want the earring to face a certain way. And if I only do one jump ring, then the earring's kind of sideways and I don't like that. So I'm really picky about um, the way the earring is facing. So I'm gonna open my small jump ring. If you've never worked with a jump ring before, I have a jump ring tutorial that you can go check out that I do step by step. And then I'm gonna put my earring, um, my fish hook in and I'm gonna close this up. I'm closing this up, making sure there's no gap. Yes, so that's closed up. We're gonna put that to the side. 
And then I'm grabbing my biggest jump ring that I have. I'm opening up really far. Like usually you don't open it up this far, but these resin um, jewelry are so thick that um, I need to open up really big in order to get it through. And so I usually go with what would be the smallest side. So the smallest side, the smallest side of the hole is usually the one that was facing up um, in the mold. I don't know why this just gets, um, it's just smaller than this side. So I tend to start on this side. I'm gonna start on this side and I'm gonna put it through. Oh, I opened it up really great. I opened up really far and so that worked. And now I want, um, this side to be w the front side, right? So I need to put my hook um, facing the uh, the the same way. I'll show you in a second. <laughs> I make sure my hook is facing the right way. And then I close up this resin, this not resin, I close up this jump ring, making sure there's no gap. Close it up. Do you see how my hook is facing this way to put in the ear? And it's, um, and it's like that. And that, my fellow jewelers, is how you make a beautiful ocean sea resin earring. Oh, they're so, oh, the ocean is one of the best inspirations. Look at these things, the foam, the bottom of the sea, the, the color of the water. I just, I love these so much. And I, I, I love this resin. I know it said four hours. I know it said to demold in four hours and completely cured in eight to 10 hours, but it just, it just wasn't, it just wasn't. But I will say that out of all the resin I have used, all the epoxy resin I've used, these actually dried the fastest. So I probably will continue to use them. This is probably the fourth um, kind of epoxy I've tried. I've tried a lot. Like it's on sale. I'm like, I'm going to get it. Or someone got it for me for Christmas or my husband sent it. You know, like I have people giving me resin. Um, this is uh, definitely the fastest drying one I have seen, but it's not in four hours. It's just not four hours. And that's okay. I don't mind. I don't care. I got some epoxy to do some more earrings that I'm super excited about. So thank you so much for tuning in. Comment, share, like. I love to hear your thoughts. Love for you to share with others. And also, also check me out on my social media. I am, I do, um, I show pictures throughout the week of what I've been making. I even share sometimes my family because I love my family so much. And so go ahead and check me out on Facebook, interest, interest and Instagram, <laughs> Facebook, Pinterest and Instagram. I keep getting those wrong. Uh, before I go, you know, I love praying for my viewers. Well, if you don't know, now you know, and I love praying for you. Um, I have been I don't know if you've been keeping up, but I've been keeping up with Ukraine. I I have uh, acquaintances that were missionaries or have been missionaries in, in Ukraine, and they're sending really great information on their social media. And so I've been praying for Ukraine, and I um I might get emotional. I want to pray for them. I want to pray for them. It's so hard watching things like that and feeling like you're helpless. But can I encourage you that prayer is powerful? And if you don't have the money to help and you don't know how else to help, pray for them. Ask Jesus to do the impossible and he does miracles. I've seen it in my own life. I've seen it when I pray for others. Stuff happen. I've seen it when I pray for other countries. Like God just answers. And so um, I, I want to pray for Ukraine. You can totally agree with me. Um, agreement when we agree in prayer. It totally um, blows up the prayer and does amazing things but just pray for Ukraine pray for them because they are going through it right now with war from Russia so God um, I thank you God that even though this is a horrible mess God that you are still good and you are in the middle of it God I pray God for the Russian soldiers God there's so many Russian soldiers that don't want to be in this war that were even shocked and surprised that they were in Ukraine that morning and because they have family members there and and they don't want to be a part of it so I pray for those that don't want to do this that you convict them and they would surrender. They would just, they would, um, they would turn over their weapons. They would turn over those that, um, are you in Ukraine fighting for their country? God, I've seen grandmas fight for their country. I've seen, um, their, their, um, beauty contestants fight for their country. I've seen a brand new man and wife fight for their country. And so God, I pray God that you would strengthen them, give them the wisdom to fight God, give them the wisdom, God, help them to defend their country, their families, their homes. God, may they, um, May they be able, may they have victory, God. May they be able to keep their country, God. May Russia not come in, but may they um, overtake it, God. We just pray, God, that you would strengthen them today, God. Keep them safe, God. Those those uh, civilians that are in the way, God, that, that are um, in the way of bombing, God, protect them, God. Keep them safe. Keep those babies safe, God. Keep the mommies and daddies safe. Keep everybody safe, God. I just pray that you would cover them and give them wisdom when it comes to fighting for their country. In Jesus' name, amen.
so I get so emotional. It just, um, it just wrecks you. It just wrecks you. The pictures you see and the stories you hear and your prayer is powerful. So pray for them. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. I love the earrings. Love to hear what you have to say about them. And I'll check you on the next video. Bye.